folks, Big Lou here. We're here today with Solomon Daigle, the man, the myth, the legend. 17 year old, amazing guy. Loves serving the Lord, volunteering, doing all kinds of good stuff. So, Saul, I got a question for you. All right. How hard is it in 2018 to be a 17 year old? Well, I mean, in a way, it's, it's difficult in a way. Because you got all those, like, the drugs going around and everything, but, like, it's more of that year where in school and stuff, it's just a harder year because mm -hmm. there's more, like, struggles and stuff, and you're looking to go to college, and you have to start doing, like, applications out and all that stuff, and... Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, but no, there's just, like, just hard work, but, I mean... There's different ways, because, like, we're in the world now where God is just, he's, like, not even alive to a bunch of people anymore. They're just thinking that he's just a myth or whatever. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, in that case, you just gotta, you just gotta look past that and just gotta believe what you believe. And, I mean, like, if you read the word, then and you'd believe him and, ah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this all focused on the camera here. This is good. This is live. Yes. It's yes. live. Oh. This is not live. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so stay focused on me. Okay. So, yeah, you were saying um, you got to stay focused on the word. Yes. Because the word is, it gives everything to you. It gives you helps you out with your life and just how to live it. But I mean, people just, they just abuse that and they just, I don't know, they make fun. Like if we were to talk about God or something at school or in public to our friends, they'd just be like, what are you talking about? And they just would think the opposite because they don't understand it like we do. And it's hard to live in a world where people don't understand what you believe, if you, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Then it's like, so it's like harder to actually be able to like spread, spread like God's wisdom around and stuff when people just blow it off and not even listen to you. Right. So that's why you gotta, gotta find the group of people who, I mean, there's not always gonna be that group where they'll listen, but if you find that group, then that's an even that's a plus for you because they'll actually listen to you, then they'll actually take it into initiative and understand it. Nice. That's good. And yeah, plus, like you said, in this day and age in 2018, when you share the Word of God or you share with someone how amazing Jesus is, as soon as they hear the word Christian or Jesus Christ, they automatically get on the defense. Do you find that happens a lot? Yeah, it does. I mean, there will be times in like some, one class, so I don't know why, I don't know what the topic was, but we were in and we were just talking about God and stuff and like, People were saying random things. I was like, those aren't even true and stuff. Like, like they, they thought they knew, but they didn't. Right. So I was like, no, that's not what happens and this and that. And they always fight the defense on if the Big Bang, on if we were born monkeys or something <laughs> like that. Right, yeah, because if we were born from a monkey, if we were, how do they say that, evolved from monkeys, yeah. then why are there monkeys still in the zoo? Exactly, and if we were born like that, then why aren't they changing into humans? Right, they're the humans out in the jungle. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, good point. Tarzan. Um, yeah, definitely. So, uh, anything else you want to share on this uh, short interview? No, just believe in what you believe, and just, if that's God that you believe in, just keep believing in Him. I know the world did. Sometimes it might be hard because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you could be going through a hard time and you just pray, but just your prayers don't, you think that they, they don't get met, but you just got to continue to believe that God will do great things in your life. Awesome. So it's about having faith. Absolutely. You got to have that blind faith no matter what things look like. You know, it's like planting a seed and waiting for days for it to come up and root. Yes. And you gotta have the faith that it's gonna grow eventually. Well, that's awesome, Saul. Well, it's been great having you on. 
Big Lou's five minutes of inspiration, and we'll definitely do some more interviews in the future. Any anything you want to say on the way out? Let's have a good day. Thank God. All right, folks. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>